What's up, everyone? It's your favorite optometrist, Dr. Darrell Glover. First and foremost, I want to thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share some tips on how to navigate the optometric landscape. I have three tips that I want to share with you today. But before we get started, I just want to say thank you also to Obi Malopi for giving me the opportunity to have this conversation. But let's go ahead and jump into it. When it comes to optometry, you really want to make sure that you have a plan. You can't go anywhere if you don't have a plan. You got to figure it out. You got to know where you want to go. You want to figure out how you're going to make that impact. And the best thing to do is to have a plan. Um, to start with a plan, you want to understand your purpose. You want to understand your vision. You want to develop core values and you want to figure out how you can get there. So first start off with the plan. That's very key. If you want to do something in pediatrics, have a plan to get there. If you want to do something in industry, have a plan to get there. If you want to own a private practice, have a plan to get there. So tip and rule number one is to have a plan. Tip number two is to build a network. You really want to make sure that you create a network that's going to help you get to where you want to go. In order to build a network, you have to look at all your friends around you and you have to develop relationships. You see, relationships are key. You want to have relationships in person, but you also want to have virtual relationships as well. When it comes to online, you want to leverage platforms like LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a powerful platform to really help elevate and network with like-minded individuals or people that's in your profession. You also want to make sure that you have a website. I'm a strong fan of websites because websites really are your home base. It's the home base for your digital footprint. So you want to make sure that you have your website so that if anyone looks you up, it goes directly there and they can understand who you are. You want to be able to narrate the narrative that you want to create for people to understand and learn who you are. So you really want to network. Um, networking with your colleagues, networking online, that is key in regards to navigating this wonderful profession of optometry. Lastly, you want to make sure that you have great mentorship. You want, to men you want to have mentorship. You want to make sure that you can have conversation with people that have been where you're trying to go. And you want to look at that conversation not as a one-way thing, but really bi-directional. You want to make sure that that colleague that you seek out to mentor you is giving you great value, but you also want to be able to give great value to them as well. So the key to navigating this amazing profession really comes around or stems around three things. Number one, you want to make sure that you have a plan. And in order to have a plan, you have to understand your purpose, vision, and have core values to hold you accountable. Number two, you want to make sure you build an incredible network, and that's in person, but also online as well. And again, the number one platform that I say can really make a difference is LinkedIn. You also want to check out Africa Media because that's a great place to network with like-minded people, colleagues, industry, media, whatever you can think of. And then lastly, you want to make sure that you have a mentor. A mentor can really help and shape and mold you into something great, but open up the door to a lot of opportunity. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to have this conversation with you today. It's your favorite optometrist, Dr. Daryl Glover. Feel free to follow me at Africa Media or Dr. Daryl Glover on all social media platforms. Thank you again. Stay healthy, positive.